What is up everyone? This is Dan from DHTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to download and install free ringtones on your iOS device wirelessly. Let's get started. Alright, so for this video we're going to be using a free application called Zedge. They basically give you ringtones and wallpapers and things like that for free. I've been using them for a really long time and it's always worked on all kinds of devices. And what's awesome now is they allow you to sync with iTunes wirelessly. Now before we can actually do that we do need to set this up and that takes a little bit of time. We will be needing to connect to iTunes via the USB slash lightning or 30 pin adapter. So we're going to do that first. So we're going to go ahead and move to the computer. We're going to go to a website called zedge.com slash tone sync and we're going to get started with the setup process. You're also going to need to have iTunes installed on your computer and this will work for both Mac and PC. So here we are at zedge.com slash tone sync and there's two things we need to do. First, we'll agree to the Zedge Terms of Service, and secondly, we'll go ahead and click Download Tone Sync for Mac. If you're using Windows, this should say Windows. So go ahead and click that, and it'll begin downloading it. Once it's downloaded, what you want to do for both Mac or PC is go into your download section and double click on the Tone Sync icon or Tone Sync Setup icon. And once you do that, you basically want to follow the on-screen steps. For Mac, it's pretty straightforward. It basically just opens it up and you can double click on Tone Sync right here. Click on Open and Tone Sync will appear. Now for PC, you have a few more clicks to go through, but by the end of the setup, just follow the on-screen steps. It'll take you to this exact page where you see the Welcome to Zedge Tone Sync here and you can begin the steps. Now from here on, pretty much everything is exactly the same for both Mac or PC, so just follow along and you should be good to go. So basically what this page is saying is that we're only going to have to do this once and that's basically the setup process so you won't have to connect to iTunes and things like that later on unless you want to. But basically this is just here for the setup so we'll go ahead and click next. And then here it's just letting us know we're going to have to scan a QR code so we'll click next again. And then from here we're going to basically go back to our iPhone and we're going to go into the Zedge application once again. Now once we're in the application, what we're going to do is tap on the top left section and then we're going to tap on scan QR code. Now basically it brings up a sort of camera and what you want to do is line this camera up to the QR code on your computer screen. So once it's lined up, if you've done it correctly, you should see a check mark on screen. Moving back to our computers again, we'll now click next. And the next two instructions we're actually going to skip. It's asking us to go back to the app and select some ringtones that we want. We're going to do that at the end. I want to make sure everything is set up properly first. We'll just click next. Same thing here. We'll click next again. Now it's asking us to open iTunes. So if you haven't installed iTunes, go ahead and do so. I'll leave you a link in the description down below just in case you don't know where to get it. So once you've done that, click next it's gonna ask us to connect our iOS device to iTunes so go ahead and do that and you can see that at the top here it's sort of syncing everything with my iPhone and you should see iPhone iPad or iPod touch up here depending on what device you're using and going back to the instructions we'll click next and as you can see it's basically telling you the same thing that your iPhone is connected or your iPad or iPod touch there's one thing that the instructions don't mention that I would like you guys to check and make sure, go here at the top left where it says music or whatever it may say, make sure you have tones listed in that drop down menu. If you don't, you wanna to go to the top where it says iTunes, you then wanna to go to preferences, and in this section here you wanna check the tones section. Make sure that's checked, it wasn't for me, and if it's not checked, things are gonna be a little bit more difficult for you. Going back to the instructions now, we'll select next once again, and this is the sync over Wi-Fi section. So basically what we wanna do is go back into iTunes and select our device at the top right, and from this page, we basically want to go to the options section and we want to select sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. Now yours may say iPad or iPod touch, but basically you want to select this section, the second one. So we'll select that and basically what this is going to allow us to do is download and sync our ringtones without having to connect to iTunes via USB. Everything will be done over our Wi-Fi connection. Now the next step, if we go back to the instructions and click next, is gonna ask us to select the tones tab from iTunes. So we'll go ahead and do that. 
We'll move back to the instructions again and click next. And now it's going to say mark the sync tones checkbox. Now what we want to do here is select this right here. So ensure that sync tones is selected and you want to make sure that all tones is selected as well. Now the reason we're selecting all tones is because if you select selected tones here, you won't be able to do this over your Wi-Fi network. The reason being, if you need to select which tones you want to sync, you won't be able to do so unless you are connected. If you select all tones, it will select everything and all new tones that you download. Now that we've pretty much set everything up, there's a few more things here. We'll click next. Again, it's saying almost there. Sync your phone with the iTunes library and your tones will appear. We skipped those two steps, so this isn't really going to apply to us yet. We'll click next. It's going to say to go to your settings, sounds, and ringtones to see the new tones you download. We'll go into that in just a second. So we'll hit done. We're done with the instructions. What we'll do at this point here is click done at the top. We'll apply the settings that we've changed. Everything should be good. We'll go ahead and disconnect our iPhone by clicking the little arrow up here beside the device it'll safely remove the iPhone from iTunes now you can unplug it from the iTunes plug and we'll move back to the Zedge application all right so we're back in the Zedge application we're gonna go ahead and tap up top in the top left to bring up our sections here and what we're gonna do is select ringtones and from here you can basically select any ringtone you want or you can search for one I'm gonna go ahead and search for a Mario Brothers ringtone and again you'll be able to search and select we'll pick the first one here and you can tap the play button to listen if you like it, just hit stop and then hit the little icon at the bottom in the middle. And this will bring up some settings. The one we want is get ringtone, so we'll tap on that. And you'll see it's sending ringtones to our iTunes library. So now while it's doing that, we're going to go back all the way to the front page here. We're going to select again the section here that brings up the different categories. And from here we're going to sync with iTunes, so we'll tap on that. You can see it's starting iTunes Wi-Fi sync. Now if this is your first time, which it most probably is, then you'll get a prompt. And the prompt is basically saying that anytime you sync, it's going to not only sync the new ringtones, but pretty much everything on your iPhone because it is a wireless Wi-Fi sync. So if you've added things like other applications and stuff like that, it's going to sync it up with your iTunes. And you just want to keep that in mind while you're doing this. So now that we've got that syncing, we'll go ahead and move to our settings application. We'll then go ahead and scroll down to sounds. And then from here, we're going to tap on ringtone. Now, as it's syncing, it may take a little bit of time. You can actually check on your computer if it's syncing, if it's doing everything, if your iPhone has started its sync. If you notice nothing is happening at this period of time, you can easily go back, go into Zedge again, and then just quickly tap on sync with iTunes, and it should start the syncing process. Now, it does take some time. It also depends on your Wi-Fi signal as well as the time it takes for it to sync, it has to start, it prepares it, it finalizes it. One thing to keep in mind is to have iTunes open on your computer. It might help it run a little bit quicker and help avoid any issues, but that's pretty much how you do it. So we'll just give it a few seconds to load up. And there you have it, Mario Brothers has appeared. That actually took about a minute and a half. I've had instances where it takes about 30 seconds. Sometimes it's almost immediate. Once you've got your ringtone, you can easily just tap to select it. It'll appear, go back to sounds, and you'll see your ringtone is now set to the one that you just downloaded. So hopefully you guys found this enjoyable and helpful. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment box down below. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I always respond to all the questions that come my way, and I'm always available to help you guys out if you have any problems. So if you guys like videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I try to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, all about tech tips, how-tos, tricks, tutorials, unboxings, Android, PlayStation, iOS, all kinds of stuff, all in hopes to help you guys get the most out of your tech devices and sort of learn as much as you can. Also, if you guys want more videos on iOS devices, tips and tricks, I have a link in the description to the full playlist on how to use and get the most out of your iOS device. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.